Going to talk for a minute about this technique known as ADR or automated dialogue replacement. It's also called sometimes post production dubbing or looping. So, what we're going to try to do, we're going to replace all the dialogue. So, it's a little bit different than what normally might be done, but this might be done if an airplane flew overhead or a train went by in the background or if it was just to the conditions were just not good enough to get decent quality audio on set, they would come back in and redo some of the dialogue. So it's pretty standard. Of course, we're just reproducing it from scratch. We would want to use a similar or the same microphone that was used in the video production. We don't want to come into the studio with a high quality condenser microphone. And to that same end, we don't want to step up to the microphone as though we're singing a vocal in the studio. We want to place the microphone in a similar place as it would have been in the production so that we get the same frequency characteristics. A lot of things can be corrected in post-production, but save yourself the trouble by putting that microphone in a similar position that it would have been on set. Our actors are trying to recreate the dialogue from a movie, but if it turns out that we need to move a little bit more or we feel like maybe we could capture the energy a little bit better if we are not tied down to a mic stand, then we could consider using a boom pole operator. Someone could actually follow the actor to have a little bit more freedom to maybe move side to side, have a little bit more energy in the take. Finally, spend time getting it done right and don't just settle for close or okay. There's no shortage of space on these computers to record multiple takes of this thing. You are going to import the dialogue file from uh, the projects folder. You're gonna find that media file in a Google Drive link. Make a new logic project. I'm suggesting the movie template here because you get that large timecode display on the screen and that could be something that you could use to kind of give the actor a little bit of timing situation so they could know kind of right where they come in. You could put those on the secondary display that we're going to have plugged up once you get that movie file imported and attached to that logic project. You're going to set a loop point around each actor's dialogue. Record the actors separately and again, loop it, spend time getting a great take. There's gonna be some bad ones, there's gonna be some good ones, there may be a great one. You can maybe make a composite to find even the best one. You might be able to use the flex tool to make some slight modifications to get it even better. Then from there, you can do your sound design in that same project and create it from scratch. You're gonna need a little bit of reverb to add to the actors so that they sound like they're outside in a parking lot. A lot of things need to be done. We'll keep talking about those. Let's get started.